How you doing, people? Who fans all around the world? The women's basketball, USA versus France. We're in the semi-finals here in Rio de Janeiro, um, Olympics 2016. Diana Taurasi with the ball. Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner's got the ball. And surprisingly, surprisingly, France are in the game. And one minute, one minute. Oh, man, I'm getting some feedback somewhere. All right. Surprisingly, um, France actually been it. Oh, good score by um, Thingy Moore. Shannon Thingy Moore. But France are bringing it, man. Uh, eight point game now. Uh, Dinah Truss has got the ball, bringing the ball to the court. Who's you the pass to? Yeah, Augustus. Yeah, right now. America's gonna have to bring it here. America in the red. Ooh, nice medium range jumper by Augustus. And the thing is, yeah, um, the thing is, you USA female, they, they usually dominate games by like 20 points. So, boy, the fact that the men were struggling um, against Argentina for the first quarter, but actually they actually won the quarter, and uh, France actually coming back, man, it shows that the rest of the world is actually stepping up and catching up. Who's got the ball that's there? Brittany Grant has got the ball there, past Dana Trossi. It's a good lineup, man. Dana Trossi takes the three, misses it, tips it away. And Trossi tips it back out again. And this is what America is very good at rebounding the ball, doing very good at rebounding them. Gus has got the ball. Pretty grand. I try to look inside. Oh, Shannon, what's game? Oh, shot clock violation right there. France are in the game. This is a good game. If you're listening, the um, Gino, the coach. And then, and listen, end of the day, France is there. The semi finals, this, this is uh, not a given. France is going to do something. Girl, one of the, the, the French, the point guard with the ball right now, she, a shoe came off and she kicked the ball out to a, a girl and the girl who opened three. I should know the names by now as well. So I'm going to try and learn all the names as we go through. Oh, beautiful in interior pass. And then she scores inside. And there's this France's first score of the half in the half of this. We're in the third quarter, 38 to 44. And this is what I'm saying. France are in the game, man. And this is USA. This is some of the best talent. In uh, American history, man, females. Very Brittany Brothers half from the ball. She didn't get the ball there. Down the stretch from the outside. Here's a beautiful free from the outside. Yeah, Dana Trossi could play, bro. Don't get it twisted. I think she plays for the Tulsa Shock. Um, I wonder where Candace Parker is. Maybe she's busy at the moment. But we'll see. France got the ball right now. They're handing it off. Point guard's got the ball. Who's going there? Kicks it out to the corner. Oh, what'd she do? Oh, she dropped the tear drop. It dropped it, what was it? I think she stepped out of bounds. Yeah, she stepped out of bounds. Man, listen, this game is this game is not easy, man. America, especially the female, the what women's WBA, man, some of the best female players on the planet. Uh, France, I, I'm not too sure how many female players of France actually play in the WNBA. I'd have to go check it out. But this is a, definitely a competitive game. Um, just as much as competitors of the USA, the men's, but in, in Argentina, where it was, bro. Here's Brittany Griner with the ball. Beautiful move by Griner, and that was it. Well, you can't deal with that. That's Brittany Griner, seven foot. So if you can't really deal with that, that was a beautiful uh, drop step move by Brittany Griner. Well, see what France is going to see. France on this turnover and a foul. Yeah. Well, it looks like a, I think um, France might have to pull a timeout now. Because I tell you what, the, as you see in it, America starting to look at this move by Brittany Diana. Drop step move and a beautiful finish by Brittany Diana. And you see the America team on the bench all cheering her on, boy. All right, we go. Okay, Shannon Moore's got the ball. Who's going to pass it to? Rotating it. Get it back into Brittany Diana. Brittany Diana with a fake up, post up move. All right, immediate raise jump. So that's. Oh, that's missed right there. Are they getting rebound? Oh, it's, it's still USA ball right there from the tipping. Well, I can tell you what. Score 38, 49, 49 to the USA, to the USA. And the female. Oh, I missed right there. Let's see what Frost do. Frost, oh, the score. Oh, no, no. She tried to tip it off the glass. Uh, no. Oh, good turnover. This is a cheeky little point guard who's there crossing up everyone down the lane behind the back. 
Okay, cool. Cool's a play. What you call him? Come down the lane, takes a beat and range jump shot. And it's good. And it's good, boy. That's what France needed, man. That's their second point, fourth, second point in the quarter. And we got the score 40 to 49. Hope you guys are watching. This is a great game, man. Where you are, what you're doing. You need to be men. The Team USA versus the front. A oh, beautiful move by Dana Trussi. <laughs> oh, she dragged him behind the back pass and dropped, dropped a dime off. Just a beautiful dish. And Americans go up 51 to 40. The threat spots. Kicking out. Comes the screens. Beautiful ball movement by France. Here's the point guard in the lane. Beautiful dish. You see what we've got. Uh, as a foul, and they go to the line. Smart goes to the line. Brittany and Brittany going on. And this has been, I think, the most interesting uh, refereeing point of the whole Olympic Games. If you're standing still, you have what they call a cylinder, a body cylinder. That's the space that you can inhabit. And, and as long as you stand still in your cylinder, you can't commit a foul. Well, and if your hands are straight above the head, that's part of your cylinder. But in this Olympic Games, inevitably, if you stand still with your hands over your head and the offensive player runs into your arms, you're going to be called for the foul. Well, I, it's one of those I don't know what it is. Gino Morel, he coaches uh, Connecticut. There's a uh, the French girls on the line. I actually missed the second one. She made the first one. The score is 10 10. The score, sorry. Team USA up by 10. So the score is 51 to 41. Who's that? Diana, that's not Diana Trossi. It's another girl. I think Diana Trossi. She's still on the. Diana Trossi. Oh, it was a foul right there. Yeah, it's a foul on the other. Oh, what was it? Offensive foul? What are they calling? Oh, it's a turn of. I thought they called him a foul. I know what kind of foul that is. And the crowd are letting that have it because they disagree with that foul. Well, the women are definitely getting it. This is the first time I've watched where the USA women are actually actually compete hard against the any team. Usually I've seen them just dominate teams. Well, France are not having it. They're actually there to try and win. This was a semi-final game. Next game into the, is obviously into the finals. So France, meaning France is definitely worthily sharing that they're worthy. The same point guard kicks the ball out. Mia range jump shot and uh, in and out. I think Thomas has got the ball. I remember her in the Olympics in um, 2012. She was dominant, man. All right, here we see what we've got here. Maya Moore, there we go. Not Shannon Moore, Maya Moore. Let's look at Shannon Moore, the wrestler. Uh -huh. Trossy. Trossy in the leg now, kicks it out. No, that's not Trossy. Trossy with the ball now. Oh, Tross is ice, man. There's another three pointer by Trossy. Oh, and the league spread, then. The league's a 13 point lead now. And I'm the Trossy that's hitting them threes here. Frost needs to see what Frost come back with. They need to get, they need to get a stop here. We need to get a score. Beautiful. You see what you're going to do here. And they run their plays beautiful as France, but are oh, she into the lane? Oh, yeah, she got it in. And they needed this point. Up by 11 is Merrill USA. And France is still in the game. They need a couple of stops and scores. It was this good to the three point. So, oh, that's it. Fouls, not Thompson. Three fouls, lies. It's long, it's long, it's long. She's in the game right now. They got Diana Trust here and they got Ding Fouls. Well, there you go, though. Look at this. Look at this put back. Stick it back. There's fouls. Well, it's a good, it's a good game. Look at this move. It's a beautiful move there. There's Brittany going on. Well, America being pushed there. Like no one else has pushed them before, as far as I've seen. They see America come. Usually, I think America and Australia, they always match each other. But Team USA, yeah. They actually have to compete in this game. And, and, and look, you got work for the gold medal. I understand that, you, man. These teams out here, they can lay down. And they're not uh, all struck by the USA team now. They see them. Most of the team from, the, from France actually probably play in the, the WNBA. So they can compete. Let me see what France and see what they come with. They need to play some good defense. Maybe some zone, maybe, uh, might be a fit. But Diana Trossi, man, no doubt. Two frees in, in the third quarter. It's opened up the lead. And that's made a difference. Yeah, Diana Trossi is showing in the replay. Diana Trossi can in the free right there. Let me see if I can add some more people in there. Whether anyone's going to come in to, to watch the, the female game, I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. If you're in there listening, yeah, B Marsh, PMC, Chris Caban, come watch the female game. Britain Grinders there waving the tag. 
flagging, waving at it, flagging her, flagging her team in, new team USA, the women's team, semi finals. We're in the third quarter. I'm EJ Boxer live here, team USA versus France. Let's see what France is going to come back with. Now, this is a very good game, actually. In terms of like, obviously, it's not slam dunk and everything like that, but running plays beautifully. Kicked it out to the side. Oh, shot clock violation. You have to be aware. The point guard's got to be aware of that. But she probably did. She could have took a free, but didn't take it. Yeah, yeah. That's the point guard's job to make sure everyone knows about the shot. All right, see what Team USA come with. That's the Rossi again. Kicks it into fouls. Oh, and one. There you go. See it there? And that's what it is, man. And that's what it is. And this is the same thing Argentina, uh, Team USA with Coach K, done with um, DeMarcus Cousins against Argentina, realizing they were weak inside and that's cap the middle. That's something that USA you can't really deal with, the interior play. Beautiful play inside and scored inside. I right, took the point guard off now. She's been playing outstanding as well, even her shoe fell off. And they're bringing another point guard then. She was actually the MVP of the French League last season. There you go. So, Sia is in. So, Sia, Kaman, and Ayai. So, they got a center in two forwards, two bigs, and Ayai, Michelle, and. All right, here we go. America scores again from the line 59 to 43, and uh, we've only four points scored in the third quarter. And America, what's that? Ooh, close to a backcourt violation. Michelle, well, let's see how this thing, they need to get into their office and try and get some easy buckets. Oh, I should have thrown it over. Lobbed it over right there. Uh, America playing outstanding defense, man. And the shot clock there, shot clock violation again, man. They can't get anything off. They go after this, and the thing is, beautiful defense. And, and the coach, Gino, Gino, is a beautiful defense set. On the new team USA, and here they come. Let's see what they do offensively. And that's the basketball game. If you can shut a team down defensively, and it makes it easy. Oh, there you go. Turnover by France. Let's see what France do on the fast break. And they're going to win. Kick it in. And she takes a three. No. Well, you know, take a two. And this is the thing about the women's game. They don't mind taking twos, man. You know, not everything's about a three. You know, take an easy shot. Take an easy shot. Take an easy basket, right? Step in, take a medium range. The down. They're kicking that round. Rotate, rotate. Here comes Trossi attacking. And that's not Trossi. And another turnover. Shot clock violation on Team USA, which is rare. Yeah. Probably was. Second park on the US, that's I think what the, well, they're not getting the easy, the easiest, but still, too. USA is still dominant by uh, they've still got a good margin, so they can make some errors. For us, can't make none, they need yeah. to get get into the offense quick, try and get some, yeah. try and put some shots up because right now, you see, see, has got the ball, kick it back out again. See, none took the two, it could have travel exactly. The post girl is in the post and she doesn't want it, she kicks it back. The point guard kicks it back. There's some communication there, they don't want to score. And then the USA have the board to Barson under two minutes now in the third quarter. Two minutes under two minutes left in the third quarter, should I say? Team USA up 59 to 43 to France. And let's see what Team USA do. They need to get some shots as well. A oh, good mid-range jump shot. And there you go. And they're playing the up, scored them here in the in the first quarter. Only four points scored to France in this quarter. And they do something here. Look and see that. Yeah. No one wants to try and shoot. It's like they rotate the ball. No one wants to actually try and score. And yeah, that's a beautiful move behind the back. Ah, uh, see, he's shot. Nah, shot caught violation. I still got the ball. Oh, she turns it over. She just threw the ball away, man. And a foul. Yeah. And USA team USA going to the line. Uh, I think everyone thought that was out of bounds. Everyone all stopped. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I had the presence of mind to just get it up toward the basket. Didn't matter in the end for the odds. Thanks. We've got the foul here, and uh, they're really taking control now. This
a problem for, for France. It's, you have to try and keep up that intensity they had in the first and second quarter and executing to that level, but it's the United States who have stepped it up in the third quarter. They came out at halftime, obviously fired up. And France, yes. For France, it was a question of keeping what going, what they were doing. And yeah. Basically, they, they came out just a little bit cold. Cold? They're flat completely. They ain't scoring nothing. They, the America completely dominating them in this quarter here. Complete domination. 62-43, 19-point lead in the last minute of the third quarter. Siak, underneath, didn't get... That was cool. Nothing. Every the time they're coming down, they're missing. Up to Waylon. She's coming quickly, and that is blocked by Michelle. Well, at least they do something on defense. Michelle, Sarah Michelle. Watch Waylon now. She's going to go with the two-handed layup, and Michelle just pokes it away. Well, great timing from Zara Michelle. You see the inbounds play. Timeout, what do they call it? Timeout? Oh, here come the subs. Dylan Trussie's come back in for the point guard. Trussie comes in for Whalen. Yeah, Trussie's playing outstanding, man. For Whalen. Give Whalen some minutes, but Trussie played it out. Great, man. Ryan Morris is here. Have this seat. Trussie comes in for Whalen. Yeah, Matt Moore as well, man. You can't deal with her. I don't think Candace Park was actually on this team, actually. Not too sure. Uh, like, Ariel, uh, uh, comfortable for the United States now. They, they've got a really all-star squad. Is Team USA, it's man. Hard to get back into it. You, you can tell by the body language on the, the players. They've got the all-star team right all there, man. The I tell you what, they were struggling. Trossi definitely doing doing wonders with the ball. Inside, floater. Makes good rebounding by France. Fast break. Oh. Still with the ball. Hey, continue saying the France and turnover to turnover. Fidget. Oh, beautiful pass. And one. That was beautiful. And then, and then you know what? It's looked like it's a 20 point lead right here. And it's a 19 point lead already. And Team USA are dominating over France. Which is, it looks like a completely different game. And you know what would change is when they took the point guard off of France, they should have they need to bring her right back in. So I'm not sure there's a team in the Olympic Games that can stop that kind of play. A six point, a six I think they need to bring the point guard back for France. She was doing yet. Yeah. She come back on? I think she needs to come back on real quick, man. And they make the free throw to make it a twenty point game. Subs, man. Quality of women's basketball. just came back out, man. So she made one good play and then she came back in. 20 point lead. Man, sorry, 22 point. Man, France are in a depth. They're in a serious hole, man. The deficit is hard, man, and they're not getting no shots off. Only in this quarter, they've only scored four points. Here we go to the lane. That's a foul right there. That's a foul. Knocked away. Let's see what she does for the line. Actually, sorry, they've scored five points. Um, they went to the line five. They only scored five points in this quarter. In this half. Big turn in this quarter. This the quarter, twenty-five to seven. Now the United States have outscored France, and it's exactly what they, Gino Ariema, would have been wanting. Excuse me. Oh, Six points. So I say, is it seven so points? That must be eight points. Then I must have missed one. That must be the eight, the eight point this quarter. Fouls. Wow, well, look at that rebound by Fouls, man. And this is the end of the quarter. I actually missed it. That was plus missed it. And the dominance of, of Team USA is there, man. There you go. 25 to 8 in the quarter. What an absolute turnaround. Can't do nothing with that, man. Who we see this in this quarter? Who we see it? Steals, offensive rebound, whatever. It's the turnovers. France 16. Uh, points, of turn, points of turnover, 22. Points of turnovers, man. Uh, points, 22 to 9, man. Points of turnovers. They're putting a whooping on them now, man. See what France going to do. And these are highlights from the first from the first half, I think. I must have missed. These are ones I missed. Oh man, but if France was, France was doing it right earlier on, man, it's just I think the I think when they took the point guard though, I think things started changing, in my opinion. I think they should let her back on. Maybe she comes back on in the last quarter, but the thing is America, you, you change any little thing in the in the team USA, 
and they'll just make any mistake you do. Brittany Griner does some damage, and so did Faust. You can't really deal with them, man. Inside, look at this. Who's she got there? Nah, mate. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Now, this little point guard was pretty good. Eh? He got a little medium range jump shot kicking on. And here comes Diana Tarossi. Oh, beautiful behind the back pass right there. Going to the lane. Look. Kicked out. Here's Tarossi on the outside of the front. This is what I'm saying. All Tarossi on the outside. Oh, there's a beautiful move by one of the point guards there, actually, to get in the lane. Little slow go on. And the fans celebrate. And they look at Team USA is going to the finals for another, yet another historical gold medal run. Dominating in, in, uh, in basketball, which is USA in basketball, they always dominate. So look at us in the third quarter. In the first quarter, France scored 15, USA 19. Second quarter, 21 to 21. In the third quarter, so the US has yeah, the way. France scored 8, France, USA scored 22. In that, that was a complete domination. And that's not what I expected, actually. Yeah. Let's see what. Oh, Tough. they threw it off the back of someone. Because that was absolutely deliberate. Scrella inbounded the ball on Angel McCarthy's back ah. and then took it herself. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> yeah. Scrella was better David. Open up. Ah, uh, she's at the screen in the open up. There. Uh, Waylon scored off the backboard. Easy, easy, easy two. Easy two right there. She was in the perfect position to receive the loose ball there. Oh, that's another big shot. And, uh, well, Offensive foul. And they'll look good for France in this quarter. Oh my days, man. It's just downhill, downhill. <laughs> Diana Tarossi on that game, boy. Yeah, offensive foul. Here we go. Well, and Moore's got the ball. She had, she had her her and she's a, she's trouble herself, man. Let me see what they got. Fouls. Who's that? Is that fouls? Ah, oh, she missed. And look at Moore. Exactly. Can't do nothing, man. Moore, Moore, Moore. Female version of Camilla Anthony, right out there, boy. Oh. And Miracle, all in strong. Is, they got the, Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Let's go inside. There you go. Shoot. There you go. Let's go shoot a two. Oh, beautiful. That's what they needed. And France has got this in the first quarter. So they're doing better in this quarter than they did in the third quarter so far already. But they need more of that, though. If France, France, if they want to come back anyway, if they want to bring it close. And it ain't out of the question. You've got eight minutes left. Oh, Maya Moore. And they throw it across. Team France. Kick. There you go. And an easy two by Team France. There you go. They're doing much better in this quarter than they did in the last quarter. But they need to do more, man. I think in, 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 I think in terms of defense, a full court press would do. You know, a full court press if you're down like this, I would, that's what I would do. Another turnover? Yep, yeah, and another turnover. USA making look, there's little mistakes now. Maya Moore right there. Maya Moore, Diana Trossi. Whew. Listen, them two alone, yeah, this is trouble. Was it was it Finney Fowles in there in the middle? Britain Guyana? Nah, it's, it's just trouble. Let me see what France do right here. Oh, and a foul, and let's go to lay. And this is what they need to do. France are getting more aggressive. I think they found their stroke again. That's it. You need to take it to the lane. Take it to the lane. And go. Here we go. Let's see what they do now. And a lot of these girls played collegiately for for their um, their college teams as well. And um, you know they understand that see them just there talking in the foul line together, huddle, little huddle. The Dean Smith huddle where he taught in the North Carolina. Every time anything foul happened, and they talk much up for a couple of seconds and decide what they're gonna do. All right, so it's twenty point lead by Team USA, and there's eighteen point now. And here comes Britain Grind off the bench. Let me see what they do out here. Browser's off, Grind is on, and it says more trouble. Cecilia. So, was it Silva? Silva Fowles. Silva Fowles. Trusty, is it? No, that's not Trusty. Let me see. Shannon Moore. Look, not Shannon Moore. No, Maya Moore. Maya Moore. Oh, turnover again! And here comes Frost. On the fast base, you're going to pull up for a three-point. Oh, uh, you got to take capitalize on that. She kicks it to the far side. 
Up. If they won't take a shot, they just take Brittany Grand Eagle. Go to watch it. Beautiful. Oh, and it's in. And this is six points, so they're doing much better in this quarter. But they, and they're calling the Tornak on the timeout. Who's calling the timeout? Who's called the timeout? Team USA is called the timeout. <laughs> they needed the timeout. Trust me. France on the run. And Gino. And Gino knows, man, the deficit. Look at his turnovers. And France are getting easy, getting easy little looks here. Easy looks here. And little post move as well. Yeah, they're still getting it. But listen, Cecilia. Huh. We'll see, we'll see how this goes, man. Let's see how this goes. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see. EJ boxing live here in semi-finals women's team USA versus France in the semi-finals they're doing all right man let's see what the coach plays calls look at this here catch it good fake Maya Moore came in to help out. And look, she's a beautiful medium range jump shot on the baseline. And it drops right in. Look at that jump step. And again, off the glass. This girl can play. I think they've got the, the post girl for Fox. I know what her name is. Isabel. Young. What's the other? She, she plays for the WNBA, no doubt. Trossy with the ball, bringing the ball up. Hands off to. It's a matchup thing. And you, you have to give the coach. Who's going to hand it off to you? Here we go. Yeah, oh, another turnover. Is, 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 they, you capitalize on the fast break. No, they don't capitalize. They actually slow it down now. Hand off by France. Here they go. Let's see what they're going to do. Ah. Oh. Post, good screens. Good. Let's see what they do. Oh. Oh, why are you throwing so high? Oh, that's the stupid man. It did it right there. There's an easy, just easy tip in. This easy, this easy, this throw it way too far and too excited. Easy pass you could have dropped in there. She's still there off his side, and there's an easy pass that's through the pass there. Yeah, they run their plays to what they want to do, but it's, it's, it's the execution in the day. But look at this. It pretty grand as with the ball interior. And another turnover. Oh, there's some confusion. They value for the ball, man. Oh, dear. Trust is on the ball. And the front half kicks it to the wing. Oh, good fake. He steps in middle range. Jump shot. Trust, good rebound. Kick it out. Let's go. Let's go. Push out. Push, push. Push the ball up the court. Let's see where they can capitalize. Hey, you push in the lane. Good job, medium range. Jump. And it's good. And Cross needed that. And the crowd go crazy. And that's what they needed, a good, beautiful, medium-range jump shot. And they come fast, so definitely on the comeback right now, man. Down the on the perimeter, up kicks of the Britney Grinder. And a beautiful shot off the backboard. And uh, US Team USA putting full court pressure now. And this is what I said France should have done. They should have put full court pressure on the point guard. They should have put full court pressure on uh, Team USA to bring them up. And another three from the perimeter. Uh, that's a shame. Under six minutes now. Let's see if France can come back. The scores are 71 to 54, by the way. Team USA haven't scored in quite a while yet. Brendan Grant on the front line with Dana Trossi. Referees are letting them play now. Oh, beautiful play. Oh! Yeah, she gets fouled on. She gets fouled on. Yukubu, that's her name. Yukubu, definitely. She there is a value of Google. She definitely plays in the WNBA. I'm not so sure what's in I said, Brittany Grant is an easy two inside there. It's a ball on Google, boy. Yeah, well, she definitely needs to get the ball more. Maya Moore, Diana Trussi. They're like, yeah, even Diana Trussi has an easy shot. Two little boy inside. Trussi on the outside. Go for three. And it's good! And then you go back and trust you. Oh, a turnover again. Team USA a foul. And another one. No blasting it. Put it on the floor. On the floor. That's a shame. Because it actually went in. Come on, man. And it looks like France are breaking apart their run. 
are pushing outside. It's USA West. I should have more that that play. Look, it looks like you got the turn of one and score right there. Yeah. Let me see what it's going for us to do. Well, 20 point lead again. A nice cushion to go in under six minutes. And a good back down, close up back down move. It's a fast break basket move, man. Fast break push the ball to the court. Get some easy twos, man. And get some defense. Oh, she loves it over. And Makubu easily scored inside. Is it going to easy? That was a beautiful. They got it in there right there. 20 point, wait, 20 point score still. See, all USA can do is just ban the infants, ban the clock if they want to. They don't have to do anything for all of them to shoot quickly. Josie from the outside misses the three. But a rare miss she misses. Mukubu kicks it out to the point guard. And she's in the lane. Ah, oh, Josie, father. Yeah. Look at that. And see Mukubu. Uh, three players around there is the uh, three players he still scores. They're going outside. Three for France. And it's good! It's a 17 point game. And they needed that. They need more of that. Let's see what Team USC come back with. They haven't scored for a while. It's still with Team USC. Actually, it's scored two of the glass. But it's the game still is it's only a 7 point game. Still, trust me, doesn't outside. It's out. And a free by the GUSA, and it's off. Kick it out. What a rebound for us with Martin to score. Here comes the point guard in the lane. Off the back one, it just scores off the back one, and a beautiful score at that. And they start the cack into the lane in. You just need to be careful, mindful on that. They don't want to shoot too quickly. Oh! <laughs> she got a lovely side, and he, uh, he looked like, and he slapped the ball away, and Team USA has got the ball in, bring up the court. Let's see what they do here. They need to get a score here. They've cut, they cut into the lane. And the crowd are going crazy. Out for the... Oh! What do you do? On the elbow! Oh! Yeah, that's the sort of thing you need, man. Now the France are trying to put... Intentionally trying to put pressure here. They understand the clock's running. Oh, the clock's burning up. Joss is calling the play right here. Let's see what they call. Joss is looking for a post up here. Oh, turnover! And I did it! A fast break! Oh, easy two. And I think Frost is, I think Team USA is calling a timeout. Yeah, Team USA, he needs to call a timeout. The reason why, you need to, to take your time, run your plays, and don't shoot too quickly. And that's that, and then you'll win the game. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Well, France, they showed it. They, just, they had a real bad third quarter, but definitely in the fourth quarter, they've actually come to play, man. Let me see what this guy's saying. Let me see what the coach has said. He don't say. Semi-finals and a turnover! 
Out the court. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go lay up. I was scored at. Oh, we have scores as well. What's the score? Oh my days! This is a massive turnaround, man. Oh, who's the score? Oh, <laughs> what a team! Who's that? That's my Moore right there, and the dagger as well. My Moore had a beautiful dagger right there. If it was a two. Is it a two right there? She was just inside the three. You see how fast I was, but that's the sort of thing of breaking momentum right there. This is what you. Oh, right to lane over Brittany Griner. Nah. Well, she tries. The point guard has uh, Diana Trussie brings the ball up, keeps it to the wing. Here's my more in the wing. Oh, she just misses that. Brittany Griner. It's still a team USA ball. And that's put it under two minutes plus. One minute, 39 seconds in the fourth quarter. Team USA up 81, Ross 67. I think it's all done and all done and dusted. Unless America, just Team USA actually just collapsed. I can't see anything changing right here. Nah, they, they, it's, it's virtual. So, Maya Moore, yeah, them three, she just bagged. She came in at two, and she had three. We made a difference. And, uh, and then Pucci Gino right on the side, all the way. I'm not sure anyone's been uh, this strong. So, Michael Jackson, this consistently. Let's see what Gino has to say in the corner. Should they go audition for a coaching role after, after her retirement? Yeah, I, and I think, you know. Look at my mom. This is in the two right here. My mom is You got the two right here. They, they, need, they need to have kind of a free gym and find their best. It's, it's too easy when you're playing team to dominate and do what you like. And Francis has made them try to play their best. And to be honest, they have to play the best of all times. Francis had well, that's what's wrong. So, Francis is looking around. Well, right? Not really for the United States. Besides that, the French have kept pace now. Yeah, they did. Yeah. All right, let's see. Two two minutes. Minutes. I think they're going to burn the clock now. What are they running? They're running four quarters? Yeah, they're running the four quarters. Yeah, they're going to burn the clock. Oh, beautiful play right there. That was a beautiful play right there. Into Tarasi. Not Tarasi. Into Brittany Brand. That was a beautiful, like, yeah, easy pick and roll right there. Right into Brittany Brand. Let me see the player. Frost looking for a score, they can go for a free, what are they gonna go for? They just get the score easy. Oh, it's a good lane. Nah. <laughs> Brittany Griner right there, rebound. And now, coming up to you right now, exactly under a minute. And uh, the scores are USA 83, France 67. And um, all you gotta do now is just basically burn clock. They're going for another pick and roll here. Oh, it was a foot down to Chelsea Shoots. There's Trussy on the line right there. Yeah, this is a burn clock right now. Under 20 seconds right now. Good screen by Britain Grander. Kicks out to Tarossi in a win. Ah, oh, she missed it. Rare miss. It's in France, though. Fast break by France. She's going to pull up for a three. 
Uh, good defense by your team you're saying and that's the standard standard your team you're saying she ain't gonna they're not even gonna get a shot off yeah they're not even gonna get a shot off they got a last play to inbounds play called inbounds play the last time where they're not even gonna get a shot anymore. team you're saying like standard defense and i don't see two of you say giving up a point here but we find out there we go actually they're gonna give it right here oh it's good that's actually a good play actually brings the game to an end the final score usa 86 no, nah, it was the third quarter that done the damage. Eight to twenty-three. Other than that, they were in the game. It was a good game, by the way. Yeah. And they came to the second half and played brilliantly as well. Yeah, France have kept the United States to their lot, second lowest score, and they scored their second highest score against the United States by any team. So, what a performance from yeah, the Yeah, let's see what Team United USA has to face in the finals. Through, and particularly that third quarter when they outshot the French 25 to 8. It was a good game. propelled them to the gold medal game, and that's where everyone expected them to be. Who did they be facing? You don't exactly, they're in the gold medal now. You don't see the celebrating. We're going into the final. They expected to go into the final, and it's a little bit subdued on the U.S. side because they know they did not play at their best, and they they dodged the bullet of sorts. You know, I don't think they ever doubted they would win, but the French certainly threw a scare into them. France silver medalist in London 2012. Uh, they'll be playing for bronze in Rio 2016, but the future of the, this basketball team is looking very bright. Yeah, and definitely. they take this kind of game into the into the third place. They would even bring it, man. Very well, indeed. Be interested to see if there's a let up. The final statistical line. Well, you'll see the difference. Points of, turnovers, the man. Points of turnovers, man. And the turnovers. Points of turnovers, man. Out because nah, the US twenty-eight US to nineteen. The end, USA twenty-eight. Points. points from turnovers because the French nineteen were not always able rebounds. To turnovers. USA the the, man, they dominated in most every category. Here's some highlights from the game. It was a very good, uh, it was competitive for a bit in the first, especially the first half where I came in. I thought, uh, Ross is doing pretty well then. I'm interested to see what the goal gets in the finals. I remember it always used to be Australia, they used to always play in the finals, man. They used to always do them up. But this team, this team here with Maya Moore, uh, Diana Trossi, Brittany Briner, nah, man, Super Fouls, nah. Let's do it, boy. We'll see if they get if they're gonna be pushed, because I've apparently France pushed them in any Olympics. Gave them actually actually the hardest time. But it's happened with the men as well with uh, Argentina. Mission highlights of the whole game actually. Where Elizabeth, Buku, look at that three point there. France came to play, but I, you know what? I, I think at some point, yeah, when you're down, you need to put pressure on another team, regardless of anything. But um, USA team, you're saying women, they're very good at handling the ball. So let me see. Oh, okay, they're doing Spain. So they got Spain in the United finals. Has beaten France, and they will play the gold medal game against Spain, who defeated Serbia early today. And the bronze medal game will be France and Serbia. A real contrast there. Serbia played very badly against Spain. France has played very well against the United States. It'll be interesting to see how they come out in two days' time. Absolutely. And mm. uh, they're two good matchups. Uh, I think Spain has been as consistent as anyone. Well, I'd like to see uh, how that Spain game goes. Uh, women's basketball. Uh, I'll, I'll be covering it. They'll put up a fight against the United States. I I'm about to turn over to that uh, right some now. Some lessons from what previous teams have done. France, Serbia, and also Canada before them. But uh, for France now, they, they move on to that uh, bronze medal match. And uh, I, I think they'll give themselves a shot. And Spain, of course, like France, have depth on the wings. Yeah, there's some beautiful plays by a team, you know what I'm saying, man. Let me see, let me see the score again. So the final score, so I could type them in right now. The final score. So Spain are going to be facing Team USA in the finals, the women finals. So I look forward to that, man. 12 steals. Okay, let me see the final score. Okay. So the final score. Team USA, uh, France 67, Team USA 86. And it was a good game, actually. It was a good, uh, as I say, competitive. It was competitive in spurts, especially the first and second, but the third quarter, man, uh, they, they done damage there. That's when it, the damage was done, bro. The most damage. Right, let me just uh, put this the scores in right here. 67 to France. And Team USA. 
Okay, 86. Yeah, well, I tell you, it was a good game. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, and, um, you know, I, watching the men's game is a lot of dunks and stuff like that, but the, the women's game really do utilize the uh, the, the media range jump shot. Well, I feel the men, should, the men should learn from that, you know, we really should. You know, using the media range jump shot, get your shots off that way. I think it's a, a that's the way to go, in my, that's in my opinion, isn't it? Um, other than that, what I've got to say, it's a good game, and we're gonna I'm gonna have to catch you guys on the on the next one, innit? So I'm EJ Boxing Live for me and let me see what happens. Let me see what's going on after the event going on. Okay, one second, let me edit this stuff right here. Watching two people been watching, that's all right. He's had some people watching anyway. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna catch you on the gold medal game. Hopefully, Spain team your team women against Spain in the finals, team USA. Yeah, and I'll catch you on another one. All right. Thanks for coming over, guys. Peace.